All right, what is it? Uh, uh Amaha. <laughs> oh, something Yamaha Kodiak. Not pulling itself. I'm gonna guess a 400. It's in pretty rough shape. Yeah, it's in really rough shape. Busted fenders. Missed. You didn't. Yeah, you took that off. We want under here. So we're gonna get there. Come on, Parpar. -par, what's taking so long? You got this one too. Yeah. Why didn't you get them out? Because I could only get like a 64th of a turn on a wrench. You should have known you'd have to take that foot plate off. Eh? You know how it goes. What if this is not the problem? Then I don't know. I mean, this is the most likely place to he, start. He claims he put it in a mud hole and it just stopped pulling. So I'd say this unit right here is full of mud. It's got a drain plug. I don't mean to ever use them. Oh, I know, but I mean, and obviously they are susceptible to get yeah. liquids in them or they wouldn't put a drain plug on them. They won't pull if they get wet. They will not pull. That's the only downfall to a CBT transmission. That and parts by across the line of the leg. Yeah. And they're making cars with these things now. I don't know. There's a mess of bolts there. I don't know how many of them there is. I think that might be it. I'm pretty sure there's two up there. Gonna have to come off the exhaust too. That's a bracket to keep the exhaust from flopping. These Amahas need that. Yeah. They are junk. <laughs> What's behind door number one? Door number one coming off. Exactly what I thought. It's full of mud. This is not full of mud. A good thing. The belt's tight. It's tight, yeah. Look down yonder. Rust. It's where water's laid in it. They haven't ever taken their plug out of it. Yeah. There's yep. the leaves. And there's your problem. I don't care if that seal is good. Oh you, my god, it's packed full of stuff. You still shouldn't mud these four wheelers. It's just a bad idea. Bad idea. Well, let's get to collect off of it. Is it the problem? Not sure yet. But no clutch should be this full of sand and dirt. West Virginia. You can see that back in there real good. You can just bring it out by a handful. West Virginia mud mixture there for you. Oh yeah. So the clutch. Let's get a little, a little sand out there. I want to say a little sand. And it shouldn't look like that. No. <laughs> this all came out of there. And by far, we missed a bunch. And we're not done. So, uh, yeah. Pull the old clutch off. Full of mud. Just full. Now, the belt itself. It's got some cracks. It's got some cracks, but it's... It's actually not in all that bad of shape. Look on the inside though. Oh. It's not terrible. No, I mean it's still runnable for a little while. But not for long though. Let me get that piece off. Yeah. Surprisingly not that much mud back here. I believe this here's used as like a fan. It, it makes sense anyway. Yeah. Keeps everything cool. It's the flywheel if I had to guess. I'll look back in here if you can see it. Full of leaves, oh, full yeah. of everything. It looks like a rat's nest back in there. Yeah. Let's get some compressed air going here. So here's the clutch part. And this is a precision moving piece That's that full of sand has been just horribly abused. Horribly abused. So let's clean this up. 
Now we're going to put these here bearing units back together. I don't really know what the hell they are. Bearing units. I'm going to measure eight. Something like that. Now this is, this is all abuse. This is... Yeah, this is totally not taking care of your equipment. A little preventative maintenance would have probably well, save this ways. from happening. Especially if you're mudding. This is what mudding gets you. Mudding's fun, but if you're gonna mud, you gotta clean. You see, these things, when you go, this is tapered up. So they got a tendency to be thrown up this way, which pushes that... Centrifugal force. Right. It's a centrifugal clutch. It's just not what you're used to seeing in a centrifugal clutch. It's not like your typical chainsaw centrifugal clutch. Right. It's, it's much different. Because that's just stop and go. That's just yeah. spinny disc, hits the drum, and it yeah. goes. In this case, instead of going... we got some little rubber deals. To it shoves there. this thing up. Yeah. You might want to stand back just a little bit. Not the biggest part of it yet. It's like a big, a big clump of a rat's nest here. A coagulated mess. There's some of it. So I think it'll come out now. It's actually a bee's nest. Wow. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. Wow. Is so your friend. Oh, you did not just do that. This piece does not need grease, but it's rusting badly, so. Grease it up anyway? That's the way I look at it. I mean, why, why not? I mean, you're down that far, so why not? Go ahead and grease it up. Okay, next part. Next part. Next part. I'll cut that for a second. So, mm -hmm. put this cover here on there. No grease. More grease. Put a tube of grease on this thing. Come on now. That's good stuff too. That black molly. It's not good for clothes. No, it's the, not, clothes. not even. Don't expect it to come out. Not even Tide brings this out. Nothing will bring this stuff out. It is hardcore. This stuff stains paint. And there we go. Go. You gonna say what you did? Oh, the finished assembly. Everything's together. Everything's clean. Now we put the Ultramatic 
Yammer Hammer cover buckle. Don't put some bolts in. Okay, last people said 10 miles an hour, right? Yeah. No, no brakes. There's 10 pretty easy. There's 20. Let's turn around and go the other way. It's fixed. It's fixed. 